Alright guys, so I'm going to show you to connect your Apple TV 4K to your TV and how to go through the setup. Now within the box you'll have this cable. So this is going to connect to the back of it. Now you see at the top here, so it does not matter if it's facing this way or this way, uh, either way. And it's going to plug it in. Okay, now depending on which model you have, you'll have either one or two more outlets. On the older models, there's also an Ethernet, uh, which you don't need, you can use Wi-Fi. On all the models though, you'll have this HDMI. Now, Apple does not ship this with an HDMI cable. You're gonna have to find your own HDMI. So, you might have one from like an old game console or uh, if not, you can buy one of these. So I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, you're just going to connect like this. Next, we'll move to the TV. Okay, so got these by the TV. Just grab the power adapter and plug it in. 48 HDMI. As long as your TV is from the past couple decades, then you should have some outlets. I'm gonna set unplug my HDMI for my Nintendo Switch and plug it in for the Apple TV. Okay, so next up. Now you have to find the correct input, the source on your TV. So for mine, it's actually still listed as Nintendo Switch, but yeah, it will differ by TV. On your Apple TV remote, just press the middle button. On the hobo screen, just again, press that button I showed you. Now we have the language, so you can swipe up and down the remote and just select with the middle button. Next region, just once again, select. They're just giving you a notice about data and privacy. Just read it and press continue. Now, if you have an iPhone, I would definitely recommend setting up with iPhone. Bring your iPhone within a few inches of the Apple TV. And you'll get this prompt on your iPhone. So just press setup. You're next gonna see a code on your TV. So just type that on your iPhone. When this is done, you can press done on your iPhone. You can also now use your iPhone as a remote, but I'm just gonna go back to the one I've been using. For requiring your password, so this is stuff like if you buy something from the shop, or how often you wanna put in your password. I'll do require after 15. If you want, you can import your settings from iPhone, but uh, I'm gonna do customize. So for Siri, you can use Siri when we do that. And if you want, you can share recordings with Apple, but your call. If you have cable or something similar, then sign in here. But I'm going to do not now. Just going to turn on this one home screen for every Apple TV. Select which room your Apple TV is. Location if you want stuff like the weather. Uh, just enable. And if you want on screen savers, just turn it on. For analytics, this is for Apple's sake, but I'll do don't send. And for terms and conditions, so it's gonna scroll down this if you're actually gonna read it. And press on agree. And once again. And now we're in. If you want more help with your Apple TV, then press in the top right. And yeah, I hope this helped out.